Hi everyone, my name is Siti Kalsum Alian. So this video is all about the immune and metabolic disorders of dogs and cats only. So first, uh, let's let's discuss the immune disorders of dogs. Mm, so the primary role of immune system is the detection and destruction of invading microorganisms. Because of the great diversity of microbial invaders, the immune system has evolved an equally complex mixture of protective mechanisms. This may be simply classified as innate and adaptive immunity. Protection within the first few days of microbial invasion is the responsibility of hardwired, which is the innate immunity system, and the long-term protection is the responsibility of the adaptive immune system. So in general, diseases is associated with the immune system takes two forms, which are insufficient immune function causing immunodeficiencies. Uh, this will manifest that, uh, this is a manifested as increased susceptibility to infections and the diseases resulting in hypersensitivities and autoimmunity. So immune disorders for types, disorders involving anaphylactic reactions in dog, disorders involving cytotoxic antibodies in dogs, disorders involving immune complexes in dogs, disorders involving cell-mediated immunity in dogs. So disorders involving anaphylactic reactions in dogs, this is a type 1 reaction. Uh, which the animal has been previously exposed to an antigen and produces an excess antibodies. If this antigen appears in the blood, the reaction can be either uh, body-wide such as anaphylactic shock or localized such as itchy patches on the skin. If the antigen enters through the skin, a localized reaction is more common. So has four uh, kinds, anaphylactic shock, high, as for a six kinds of these anaphylactic reaction dogs. Anaphylactic shock, hives and swelling, allergic rhinitis, nasal rhinitis, chronic allergic bronchitis, eosinophilic bronchopneumopathy, and food allergies. allergies. First, let's discuss the anaphylactic shock. So what is anaphylactic shock? Anaphylactic shock is a rare life-threatening immediate allergic reaction to food, an injection, or an insect sting. So dogs differ from other domestic animals in the in that major organ affected by anaphylactic shock is the liver rather than the lungs. So therefore, gastrointestinal signs are the major signs of anaphylactic shock rather than the respiratory signs. So clinical signs of anaphylactic shock which are uh, which is diarrhea, excessive drooling, vomiting, shock, seizures, coma or even death. The dog's gums may be pale and the limbs may be feel cold. The heart, the heart rate is, is generally very fast, but the pulse rate is weak. So anaphylaxis is extremely emergency. So intravenous injections of epinephrine is a mass. Um, next, let's move on to the hives and swellings. Hives, hives and Hives or urticaria and areas of swelling are caused by the allergic reactions to drugs, chemicals, something eaten, insects bites, or even sunlight. Uh, this will develop within 20 minutes of exposure to the allergen or the antigen. So hives is at least severe types of anaphylactic reactions and cause small bumps to appear on the skin. Hair stands up over these swellings and sometimes they itch. So, swellings. Swellings is, mm, is most often noticed on the face, especially on the lips, the muzzle, and the area around the eyes. can be so severe that the dog cannot open its eyes. So, mm, veterinarians treat these reactions by giving appropriate antihistamines. Let's move on to... Allergic rhinitis or nasal rhinitis has two types, seasonal allergies and non-seasonal rhinitis. So seasonal allergies is usually ca caused by the pollen exposure, watery nasal discharge, and sneezing called allergic rhinitis. Non-seasonal rhinitis may be due to the exposure to such allergens, such as the molds, dander, beddings, or even feeds. So 
Uh, the, the, the diagnosis to this allergic rhinitis is by the presence of eosinophil fields, uh, which is the type of white blood cells in the nasal discharge. So, a favorable response after treatment with antihistamines. The disappearance of signs when the offending antigens is removed and its mm, seasonal nature. Next, let's move on to the chronic allergic bronchitis. So, this is a dry, harsh, hacking cough that is easily brought on by physical activities. So, which aid in the removal of thick, sticky mucus. It is uh, seasonal or maybe uh, occur year-around. So, treated with bronchodilators and expectorants. So, your veterinarian may prescribe additional medications such as steroids to help control this type of immune-mediated bronchitis. So, next, um, next, eosinophilic or bronchopneumopathy. It is infiltration of lungs with a thick fluid and white blood cells. It is caused by allergens, viruses, and parasites in dogs. So, lethargic and have difficulty breathing with normal exercise is the clinical signs. Steroids to help control the signs, so steroids is the treatment. So food allergies. Food allergies lead to inflammation of small, small intestine, vomiting within 1 to 2 hours of, eat, of eating, and may have intermittent substance, so which uh, weight loss in poor coat condition in severe cases. So diagnosis and treatment. It is done by strictly controlling the diet at the direction of veterinarians, complete and balanced home cooked meal, or a commercial prescription diet. So, uh, often developed following an intestinal infec infection. So, skin allergies. Skin allergies are also, also called atopy. The so dog skin overacts to a certain allergens in the environment. So, inhaled substances such as a dust, dust, mites, pollen mold or dander so most commonly affected areas is the feet face ears elbows armpits and abdomen so affected areas are very red each and may have small bumps so uh, most predisposed uh, breeds terrier terriers dalmatians and retrievers so the diagnosis to these skin allergies is by history and physical examination the Mm. Although allergy tests cannot di diagnose skin allergies, they can help determine the source of allergy and help direct treatment. In one such test, the dog is injected with small amount of possible allergens into the skin. If the dog is allergic to the injected substances, a swelling will occur immediately at the injection site. So, the treatment uh, will really will really treatment is relief from itching can be achieved through the use of prescription drugs therapeutic shampoos avoiding flare inducing triggers such as the fleas allergens or infections and allergy shots so treatment may be uh, allergen specific immunotherapy so next so, let's move on to the disorders involving cytotoxic antibodies in dogs. It is a type 2 reactors, type 2 reactions, type 2 reactions. So, occur when an antibody binds to an antigen, an antigen present at the surface of its own cells. So, lead to several types of diseases in dogs. So such as anemia, blood clotting problems, skin and muscle disorders. So the type 2 reactions is immune mediated hemolytic anemia, immune mediated thrombocytopenia, autoimmune disorder, skin disorders, myasthenia, gravis. Immune mediated hemolytic anemia, it is an abnormal low number of, lo of red blood cells. Severe, it is severe and life threatening disease in which the dog's immune system sees its own red blood cells as a foreign invaders and therefore produces antibodies to destroy them. So it can, it can cause anemia. So signs of anemia, fatigue, paleness of the lips and gums, and depression along with the juntis in some cases. So also uh, enlarged liver and 
splits or spleen. Has four basic forms, pre-acute, acute, or subs, sub-acute, chronic, or cold agglutinin, uh, cold agglutinin disease. So, so most forms are treatable with medication, including corticos corticosteroids and cytotoxic drugs, such as those often used in chemotherapy. So, blood transfusions may be uh, or might be necessary. To this kind disease. So, so next, immune mediated thrombocytopenia. So, it is abnormally low number of platelets. Clotting does not occur correctly. So, most often signs of bleeding and bruising of the skin and mucous membrane. So, diagnosis of this is usually made based on signs and response to treatment. So, rather than on blood tests. So, Certain tests such as platelet counts, clotting profiles, and bone marrow something are helpful. So treatment. So, uh, in, so the medication or the treatment will likely to prescribe to treat this disease. Signs usually disappears after five to seven days of treatment when platelet counts begin to rise. If the platelet counts has not has not increased significantly after 7 to 10 days. Additional or different medication may be prescribed. If the blood loss is life-threatening, transfusions of blood or blood or plasma may be necessary. Treatment is often continued for 1 to 3 months after the platelet counts return to normal. Next, autoimmune disorders. This auto auto skin disorder, autoimmune skin disorders has three types. First, the pemphigus foliaceus, pemphigus vulgaris, and bolus pemphigoid. So, so first, pemphigus foliaceus, uncommon autoimmune disease that affects the skin, forming pimples or crusted areas. So, the treatment is uh, corticosteroids. So, pemphigus vulgaris produces blisters and sores in and around the mouth and groin, but other areas of the skin are only mildly affected with high doses of corticosteroids in combination with other drugs that suppress the immune system. So, if untreated, the condition can result in death. So, bulu, bulu, bulos pemphigoid. It is a rare a rare autoimmune skin disease mm, the predisposed uh, breeds such as collies and doberman pinchers abnormalities are often widespread but tend to be concentrated in the groin 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 skin resembles a uh, severe scald and may include blisters so corticosteroids and other drugs is the uh, treatment So, myasthenia gravis, uh, mys myasthenia gravis, the, um, it is a autoimmune neuromuscular disease seen in both people and animals, including dogs. So, can be congenital or immune mediated, leads to inability to contract muscles in extreme muscle weakness. So, so the... So the first signs So the first signs of problems is mega esophagus due to the muscular weakness. So enlargement of the esophagus leads to difficulty swallowing and can cause regurgitation which can cause inhalation and pneumonia. So diagnosis is uh, blood test. Next is disorders involving immune complexes in dogs. It is a type 3 reactions. So when antibodies bind to persistent antigen, they can create immune complexes. So it has three types, glomerulonephritis, systemic lupus erythematous or the lupus and vasculitis, anterior ovitis, immune mediated arthritis and immune mediated meningitis. 
First, glomerulonephritis. It is an inflammation of glomeruli, microscopic filtering units in the kidneys. Results in an excessive loss of protein in the urine or proteinuria. So the treatment is the treating any underlying disease, reducing the amount of protein lost in the urine, manage, managing any uh, existing kidney disease, and giving immunosuppressive drugs to reduce the formation of the immune complexes. If it goes untreated, the disease can lead to chronic kidney failure. So, next, systemic lupus erythematous or the lupus. So, it is a rare auto autoimmune system autoimmune disease that is seen in both people and dogs. Dogs with lupus have antibodies in the in their blood and are target, targeted against their own their own body tissues. So. Widespread abnormalities of the skin, heart, lungs, kidney, uh, joints, nervous system, and blood decrease red blood cells or platelet numbers. So, multiple organs are usually affected. So, wide variety of signs or the clinical signs is fluctuating, uh, fever, lameness that shift from one leg to another, arthritis affecting multiple joints, painful. Uh, muscles, anemia, a low white blood cells count, mouth ulcers, skin changes including hair loss, skin crusting, uh, ulceration, and scar formation involving of internal organs such as the thyroid glands and spleen or kidneys. So, the diagnosis to this uh, lupus is a blood test. So, mm, blood test for specific antibodies check for the presence of liver or the kidney damage. And to look for anemia, low platelet counts, and other changes associated with the disease. So the treatment for this is veterinarian will be able to determine the most appropriate treatment for your pet. So vasculitis. What is vasculitis? Vasculitis is the inflammation of blood vessel. It can cause immune complexes of yours in dogs. Skin abnormalities are seen as purplish red dots, ulcerations, and scabs. Signs appear on the lower legs, paws, ears, mouth, or tongue. So, drugs are a frequent cause. Also, so diagnosis to this vasculitis biopsies. Only biopsies. So, biopsies treatment by stopping the offending drugs if implicated as the cause or by giving drugs that suppress the immune system. So, anterior ovitis. It is the action of antibody antigen complexes on the iris which causes inflammation of the eye. Occur, occurs during the recovery phase of infectious canine hepatitis caused by the virus. So treatment, medication to support healing in the eye and entire body. So immune mediated immune mediated arthritis. So so, immunomediated. First, a canine rheumatoid arthritis is the inflammation and swelling of the joints. Uh, also, autoimmune diseases. Next is a plasmacytic lymphocytic synovitis is a variant of rheumatoid rhinitis. Uh, <laughs> a rheumatoid arthritis occurs in medium and large breeds of dogs. The most common sign is hind limb lameness with the knee being joints. Wait! So, one. Oh, so plasma cytic. Um, Cytic lymphocytic syndrome is variant rheumatoid arthritis occurs in medium and large breeds of dogs. The most common signs is the hind limb lameness with the knee being the joint most commonly affected. So, next is idiopathic idiopathic polyarthritis. It is an inflammation of multiple joints with unknown cause. So, um, the most predisposed uh, to
to the large dogs, German Shepherds, Doberman Pinschers, Retrievers, Spaniels, and Pointers. So the toy breeds is the toy Poodles, Yorkshire Terriers, and Chihuahuas or the mixes. So the diagnosis to this immune-mediated arthritis is based on the history and recurring fever that's that does not improve after antibiotic treatment, lethargy, poor appetite, and sniffness or lameness. So treatment, three to five months of corticosteroid treatments, additional drugs are required in dogs that do not respond to steroids. So next is disorders involving cell-mediated immunity in dogs. Has four types, granulomatous reactions, all dog encephalitis, contact hypersensitivity, autoimmune uh, thyroiditis, dry eye or kera, to conjunctivitis sica. So, this granulomatous reaction is a masses of scar tissue and white blood cells that accumulate around an area of persistent infection, infections. So, triggered by certain types of bacteria or the fungi. So, all dog encephalitis is a chronic brain inflammation that can occur in a dog that has a distemper many years earlier. So, next is a contact hypersensitivity is a result from a chemical reacting with an a changing, no, changing normal skin proteins. These modified skin proteins are perceived as a foreign invaders. Results of contact with uh, sensitizing chemicals incorporated into a plastic food dishes, uh, plastic colors, and the drugs placed on the skin. So, uh, autoimmune thyroiditis, an, an immune-mediated disease that destroys the thyroid gland, prevalent in Doberman pinchers, beagles, golden retrievers, and akidas. So, hypothyroidism, decreased production of thyroid hormones may be uh, the only detectable signs. However, is this condition may occur as a part of the broader immune disorder such as lupus. So, so, this is uh, autoimmune adrenalitis. Autoimmune adrenalitis, adrenalitis caused by infiltration of immune cells into the adrenal glands. This causes the destructions of the glands and may lead to Addison disease. So, um, signs and signs of addition, Addison disease is a weakness. Loss of weight, appetite, diarrhea, and vomiting. Addition, Addison disease is the most common in young and adult female dogs. So, mm, dry eye or kerato conjunctivitis sica. It is caused by immune reaction that destroys the tear gland. With a genetic predisposition in a cocker spaniels, Keratoconjunctivitis sica can also follow a viral infection, trauma, or the use of certain antibiotics. So the treatment is the prescription eye drops that contain cyclosporine or other drugs that inhibit the immune response that causes the disorder. So artificial tears and other uh, eye drops require long. It is uh, a treatment is require lifelong treatment. So let's move to this. So let's move to the immune deficiency disease in dogs. So the topic is deficiencies in phagocytosis, leukocyte adhesion deficiency, um, complement deficiency, immunoglobulin or antibody deficiency, combined immunodeficiency disease, selective immunodeficiencies, immunodeficiencies caused by the virus. So, mm, so deficiencies in phagocytosis, they can congenital or they acquired causes increased susceptibility to bacterial infections of the skin, respiratory systems, and the gastrointestinal tract. These infections respond poorly to antibiotics. So, leukocytes adhesion deficiency results from the absence of an essential receptor on the white blood, ce white blood cells. So, prevent white blood cells from existing the egg exiting 
prevents white blood cells from exiting the bloodstream to defend the body against infection. So, affected dogs repeatedly suffer from the severe bacterial infections and delayed wound healing. So, the condition has been diagnosed in Irish setters and also occur in, the, in people. Complement, uh, complement deficiency. It is a congenital uh, or complement is a set of small immune system proteins that helps other parts of the immune system fights of infection. So, it is a congenital lack of complement protein. C3 has been described in Brittany Spaniels. So, Brittany Spaniels develop recurring bacterial infections, especially skin diseases and pneumonia. So, diagnosis is based on the blood test showing reduced levels of protein. So, there is no specific treatment for the complement diseases. So, vaccination and antibi antibiotics are used to prevent and treat this infection. So, with all inherited diseases, animals used in breeding programs must be carefully chosen. So, next. So this is immunoglobulin or antibody deficiency. So due to the failure of the body to produce antibodies or the immunoglobulins can be it is can um, uh, can be acquired or the congenital. So the congenital deficiency is one type immunoglobulin or immunoglobulin A or, or IgA has occurred in beagles, German shepherds, Chinese sharpies. Uh, leading to respiratory infection, digestive system disorders, skin disease, and allergies. Allergies. So, immune immunoglobulin or antibody deficiency, acquired deficiencies occur. So, it is occur as part of any disease that disrupts the production of antibodies in the in the body. Some viral infections, including CD and parvo, so it increased risk of respiratory infections from one to six months of age so occur in puppies that do not receive adequate antibodies from their mothers so this combined immunity uh, combined immunodeficiencies disease it um, it uh, it is uh, become progressively more susceptible to bacterial infection so it involves a defect in a both a cell mediated immunity and antibody uh, production so impossible for the body to fight foreign invaders uh, basset the most predisposed breeds uh, basset wounds basset hounds toy poodles rottweilers and mixed breed puppies so no treatment is available for now so so selective immuno Selective immuno, so next is select, uh, what am I? So selective immunodeficiencies, for example, uh, red virus puppies have predisposition for severe and often fatal canine parvovirus infections, so localized in whole body fungal infections, such as long nose breeds, in particular German shepherds and, ger and shepherd mixes. So, signs, infections of kidneys, bones, and this between the vertebrae of the spinal cord. So, this temper virus. Stop. So, this temper virus, virus kills lymphocytes, a type of white blood cells. The infection is associated with a progressive decline in levels of antibodies and an increased susceptibility to bacterial infections that are normally controlled by the immune system. So, for complement deficiency, uh, parvovirus infections cause a huge decrease in the number of white blood cells and weaken the immune response to the bacterial and fungal infections. So, immune systems tumor in tumor, tumors in dogs. So, cancer occurs when the cells grow out of the control. The tumor cells do not do not usually uh, perform normal functions which leads to immunodeficiencies so mm, lymphoma lymphoma increased growth of lymphocytes may be uncontrolled uh, lead to the production of mutated cells so lymphoma one of the most common tumors of 
of dogs this of dogs so such uh, most predisposed breeds is boxers Basset Hounds and Rottweilers affect middle age and older. Occur in lymph nodes, spleen, chest, liver, kidneys, digestive tract, blood, skin, and other organs. So, the so before we move on to the diagnosis, uh, most most signs of the lymphoma uh, lymphoma is. Uh, our clinical signs are related to the location of tumors. Most tumors develop in the lymph nodes, causing them to swell. If many tumors throughout the body, uh, will cause a fever, lethargy, uh, weakness can be seen. So, if if gastrointestinal form, uh, there is a vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, abnormal pain, ab abdominal pain weight loss and lack of appetite so this uh, lymphoma signs is a uh, if chest form uh, there is a short breath shortness of breath and muffled heart sounds if the skin form signs is single or multiple lumps in the skin or mouth so lymphoma can be also appear scaly patches across the body so so diagnosis for this uh, so this lymphoma is a blood test, biopsies, all ultrasonography. So treatment chemotherapy usually with combination of drugs. So gamopathy in dogs. So first is uh, there are there are some types of uh, gamopathy. So polyclonal gamopathy is a long term disease causes chronic stimulation of the immune system. The monoclonal gamopathy is either benign, benign or associated with immunoglobulin secreting cancers. So let's move on to the immune disorders of the cats. So immune disorders of cats is the same principle as the immune disorders of dogs. So, so let's move on. So for the anaphylactic for the anaphylactic uh, disorders, uh, signs of allergic asthma include open mouth, uh, breathing, congestion, and shortness of the breath of breath of breath of the cat. So, so a cat can develop hives in reaction to either environmental or ingested allergens like that. So, so for food allergies can cause weight loss and poor coat condition in cats in addition to vomiting and diarrhea so in for this so let's move on to the immune deficiency disease in cats so deficiencies in phagocytosis selective immunodeficiencies and immunodeficiencies caused by the virus so so deficiencies in phagocytosis, it is caused by the low number of phagocytes in the blood or the defect in their ability to act normally. Certain drugs are suppressed production of phagocytes. Some conditions affect phagocytosis include the phalanicemia, phalanpanleukopenia, phalan immunodeficiency, bone marrow disorders. So, so this next is Next, selective immunodeficiencies. Uh, a Persian cats have a tendency to develop severe and sometimes proactive infections of the skin, fur, and claws. So, caused by fungal infections, including ringworm. So, mycetomas invade the skin and cause formation of small, fleshy, or grainy masses. So, for the immunodeficiencies caused by the virus, parvovirus called or cold. Felan panleukopenia, felan virus, or FELV, felan immunodeficiency, or FIV. So, so, so let's focus on these three diseases. So, 
So, phelan panleukopenia, it is a high rates of high rates of virus excretion occur the acute stages of, dis of diseases. So, mainly in feces, also in saliva. So, so the, this feline panleukopenia is also called the feline infection enteritis or the feline distemper. So, highly contagious or often fatal. So, kittens are mostly affected to this disease. So, abnormally low level of white blood cells. So, is highly susceptible to infection of the unvaccinated cats. So, for this, hmm, so let's, uh, for the, uh, for the pathogenesis, uh, cats are infected oral nasally by exposure to infection, uh, to infected animals, their feces, secretion, or contaminated fomite. So, so, this feline panleukopenia infects and destroys actively dividing cells in bone marrow, lymphoid tissues, uh, intestinal epithelium in very young animals, so cerebellum and retina. So, in pregnant queens, a virus spread transplacentally to cause embryonic resorption, fetal mummification, abortion, and stillbirth. For the clinical signs to this uh, Feline panleukopenia, depression, lethargy, loss of appetite, fever, vomiting, loss of skin elasticity due to dehydration. So, self-biting in the tail, bloody diarrhea, severe dehydration, malnutrition, anemia, and often death is occurred. So, for diagnosis, immunochromatographic test kit is detection of the fetal CPV antigen. So, Differential diagnosis is salmonellosis, feline leukemia, leukemia virus, feline immunodeficiency virus. So for the treatment, a fluid therapy, supportive nursing care, close monitoring, B vitamins, broad spectrum antibiotic, antibiotic therapy, antiemetic therapy, and parenteral nutrition. So, for feline leukemia virus or FELV is the feline leukemia virus is a retrovirus. A retrovirus produce an enzyme which permits them to insert copies of their own genetic material into the cells they have infected worldwide. But the prevalence of infected varies greatly depending on their age, health, environment, and the lifestyle. So, the sources of the infection to so the FA. FELV is the virus is shed in very high quantities in saliva and nasal secretions, but also in the urine, feces, and from uh, from mother to kitten. So bite wounds, close contact, virus does not live long in the environment. So young kittens highest risk. So, what problems can FLV cause? So anemia, cancer. So or what? Uh, anemia, cancer, suppression of the immune system, immune-mediated disease, reproductive problems, intestinal inflammation, and neurologic disorders, and stomatitis. So, prevention and the control testing should be done in the following situations. So, all kittens at the first vet at their first veterinary visits, all cats prior to entering a household can existing infected cats. All cats in ex an existing household prior to admission of a new and uninfected cats, all cats prior to their first feline leukemia virus vaccination. Vaccines are recommended only for uninfected cats at risk. So, for diagnosis, two types of FELV blood tests are in common. So, ELISA detects both primary and secondary stages of viremia. So, IF a test must be sent to diagnostic lab if detects secondary viremia, vir viremia only. So, let's move on to feline immunodeficiency virus or FIV. It is a retrovirus or lentivirus. Mm, uh, retrovirus or a genus lentivirus. So, it is closely related to HIV. How, however, humans are not susceptible to the cat's virus. So, feline immunodeficiency virus disease says the functions of the immune system of domestic and wild cats so, are, are more likely to acquire other types of infections that can affect other parts of the body including gums, mouth, digestive tract, urinary tract, and the skin. Increased risk of 
developing certain types of blood cancers. So, so the transmission to this FIV is virus spread through cat to cat through saliva, primarily by biting cats that roam around. Male cats and older cats are most likely to become infected. So, outdoor intact male cats who fight most frequently contact the disease. So, these are the clinical symptoms to this feline immunodeficiency virus. Enlarged lymph nodes, fever, anemia, weight loss, weight loss, she, she, disheveled goat, poor appetite, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, gingivitis, stomatitis, dental disease, skin redness or hair loss, uh, wound that don't heal, sneezing, discharge from eyes or nose, frequent urination, um, behavior change. So, so preventing FIV keeps cuts indoors, Keep cats on leash with when outdoors. Recently adopted cat should be tested for FIV prior to entering your home. Speak to a veterinarian about FIV. So diagnose is a blood testing. So blood testing. So FIV status of every cat should be known. So most commonly type of test looks for the presence of antibodies to the virus in the blood. So kittens who, who tested positive for FIV antib antibodies when they're younger than six months should undergo antibody tests again at later date to see if they are if they are infected. So for treatment, medication for secondary infections, healthy palatable diet of encourage good nutrition, anti-inflammatory drugs, immune enhancing drugs and parasite control. So let's move on to the uh, to metabolic disorders. So first uh, in dogs. So so uh, breeds of dogs prone to genetic uh, storage disease. So for disease such as uh, steroid lipo. Uh, steroid lipofusinosis the breeds that uh, that are affect is a border colu colis chihuahuas cocker spaniels dachshunds english setters saloxo these are uh, this this type of uh, these tables is which predispose to this disease uh, yes, predispose. most predisposed breeds. For example, gangliosidosis, the most predisposed breeds is the bigger crosses, German short-haired, pointless Japanese spaniel. So, so, the metabolic disorder, uh, metabolic storage disorders, so genetic, inher or genetic or inherited storage diseases are named according to the specific metabolic byproduct that that builds up in the body puppies typically appear normal normal at birth and clinical signs begin within a few weeks to months so these diseases are progressively uh, progressive and usually fatal so specific treatment do not exist so that's uh, mm, acquired storage disease can be caused by eating plants that contain inhibit source of specific enzymes so first uh, the disorders of calcium metabolism in dogs calcium is an essential component of the skeleton and it has important function in muscle con contractions blood clotting enzymes activity and the nervous uh, system and hormone release among others so Many different metabolic disorders affect calcium metabolism and can lead to abnormal levels of calcium in the blood. So a high level of calcium is known as hypercalcemia while a low one is, a co is called hypocalcemia. So peripheral hypocalcemia may occur within the first few weeks after giving birth when the mammary glands are producing the greatest amount of milk. So, it is a result from loss of calcium into milk. 
So, other names for these conditions is postpartum hypocalcemia, peripaturient, parturient hypocalcemia, peripheral uh, tetany, and eclampsia. So, this peripheral hypocal hypocalcemia is most common disorders of calcium dis, uh, calcium metabolism. So, results from loss of calcium into milk. So, may occur within the first few weeks after giving birth when in, when the mammary glands are producing the greatest amount of milk. So, so that's uh, the mm, yes, that's the pictures. So next, fatigue and exercise in dogs. So, so fatigue is an issue for working dogs, racing, racing greyhounds, and dogs that complete in agi agility and and muscles and uh, agility and ha other high uh, intensity events. So it describes the inability the, of muscles to continue to perform at the, le at the same level of intensity. So muscular fatigue can be caused by the numerous disorders of several body systems. So during prolonged exercise, usually several hours or more, panting or sweating uh, occur to remove excess heat generated by the body's metabolic diseases. So this leads to dehydration and acid base and electrolyte imbalances. So these factors cause fatigue, exhaustion exhaustions and may lead to the may lead to death so malignant hyperthermia in dogs so, this syndrome is characterized by abnormally high body temperature and mass cell contraction that can potentially lead to death so so this malignant hyper, hyperthermia is seen mostly in pigs but it has also been reported in dogs especially in greyhounds cats and horses so this syndrome is characterized by abnormally high body temperature and mast cell contraction that can potentially lead to death. So, so a rapid and sudden increase in body temperature can be followed by muscle rigidity, a rapid and irregular heartbeat, increased heart breathing weight, bluish tinge to skin and mucous membranes, unstable blood pressure, fluid build up in the lungs, impaired uh, blood coagulation, kidney failure, and even death. So, for this diagnosis, is based on developmental clinical signs in animal that has been given an aesthetic agent or is participating in a stressful event. Sci signs can develop slowly or rapidly. So, so, malignant hypothermia is triggered in susceptible animals by excitement, apprehension, exercise, uh, environments, environmental stress so giving certain anesthetic or specific drugs uh, that affect the neurologic muscular also consistent triggers malignant hypothermia in susceptible animals so that's it so let's move on to the cuts I mean, metabolic disorders of cuts so these are the this uh these tables is uh, breeds of cuts prone to genetic disorders for example uh, Glycogenesis, uh, the breeds that is predisposed is the domestic short hair, Norwegian forest cat. So, for mucopolysaccharidosis type 4 is, for example, Siamese. That. So, let's move on to the congenital. So, congenital erythropoietic porphyria in cats. So, it is a uh, it is a rare hereditary disease of cats results from low levels of enzymes involved in the production of hemi. So, hemi is a part of hemoglobin. So, affected animals that have reddish brown discoloration of the teeth, bones, and urine at birth that continues for life. So, diagnosed based on clinical signs in laboratory tests, no specific treatment keeping animals out of direct sunlight may reduce those. So, so there is no specific treatment. So let's move on to the metabolic disorders caused by changes in nutritional needs. So, uh, the same in the dog. So hypo, hypoglycemia and hypocalcemia. So hypoglycemia is the animal's metabolic dis reserves are unable to sustain sugar or glucose in the blood at a low at a level needed for normal function. So, 
hypocalcemia is the level of calcium in the blood is too low in some cases dietary intake of nutrients such as calcium is rapidly used up for ongoing high metabolic needs such as reducing milk for kittens disorders of calcium of calcium calcium metabolic metabolism in cats so hypocalcemia is high and hypocalcemia so so same same as dogs is calcium is essential components of the skeleton so if is so hypocalcemia the disease for this is hypothyroidism and chronic kidney failure if hypercalcemia idiopathic hypercalcemia so calcium regulating hormones there are three so uh, thyroid hormone hormone uh, vitamin d and calcitonin so hypoparathyroidism is it is characterized by low calcium levels so high phosphate levels in either temporary or permanent insufficiency or of parathyroid hormone so rare in cats it is rare in cats so common signs is mass muscle tremors and twitches muscle contractions and generalized convulsion so for hypoparathyroidism the diagnosis for this is based on the history signs low calcium and high phosphorus levels serum parathyroid hormone level so for goal of treat of treatment is return the level of blood calcium to normal dietary supplements of calcium often along with vitamin d for chronic kidney failure most common cause of hypocalcemia so does not tend to cause signs of lead to the nervous system so signs that are seen in see, seen in hypothyroidism so treatment dietary restriction and treatment for to lower phosphate concentration so the early signs for the So, uh, preparal hypocalcemia is same as to dogs. So, may occur within the first few weeks after giving birth when the mammary glands are producing the greatest amounts of milk. It results from the loss of calcium into milk. So, other names such as same as the dogs. So, most, part, most postpartum hypocalcemia, periparturient hypocalcemia, preparal tetany eclampsia is the other names of this preparal hypocalcemia so early signs is listlessness uh, restlessness lack of appetite tremors twitching muscle spasm stiffness stiffness uh, in coordination unwillingness to let kittens nurse so next um, as conditions for them severe tremors repeated repeated and prolonged contraction of muscle or tetany rapid heartbeat fever seizures uh, coma may develop seizures seizures so for tentative condition uh, for uh, as conditions worsen so for tentative diagnosis based on history a physical examination, clinical signs, response to treatment, blood test determine the level of calcium that confirms the diagnosis. For preventive measure, measure feeding a high quality, nutritional balance, appropriate diet during pregnancy and lactation, food and water is always available during lactation. So, so feeding kittens with supplemental milk replacer early in lactation and with solid food after three to four weeks of age disorders of potassium metabolism in cats hyperkalemia and hypokalemia if hyperkalemia high level of potassium in the blood hypokalemia is a low level of potassium so for feline hypokalemia polymyopathy which is a muscle disorder that causes generalized weakness and burmese cats can inherit a genetic muscle disorders due to the low potassium levels so for disorders of potassium in cats most common cause of hyperkalemia in cats is obstruction of the urinary tract for severe hyperkalemia widespread muscle weakness depression life-threatening arrhythmias so 
thank you for references is a Mark Veterinary Manual only. Thank you for listening. So again, I am Chichika Sumalian. Thank you for everything.